This video covers PowerSDR 2.7.2 KE9NS Revision T10 and um, one of the features I've just added is uh, up here in the memory. When you uh, click on that you're going to see some fields down here. Uh, you could still open this up and it still has all the settings you normally would find. You can either scroll over or just widen the screen but uh, you can keep it narrow if you want but now there's a scheduler built in so take for example these different broadcasts here these AM broadcasts uh, if I want to uh, modify one click it the data will appear down here and I can schedule a recording uh, anytime I want but um, what you can do is is for example um, schedule for like today and then let's say uh, and this is local time right now it's 1042 uh, I could schedule for 1043 a, a weekly recording of five minute duration and then there it goes now it just flipped over to a 1043 it changed the frequency even if this was off it would just reactivate uh, it would it would hit the start button and start it it starts the recording so it's showing you recording it's got five minutes remaining so now it's recording the audio from this broadcast it, it changed the flux to all the settings in here and uh, it made sure the recording was in the uh, post configuration uh, so the file size won't it won't try to record the entire display just just what you want to record uh, and it tells you that you have a memory schedule because you don't have to do the recording you could leave that unchecked and it would just simply change frequencies let's say a net or whatever it would change frequencies and like I said it it, it puts up the little pop-up box just to warn you what's going on uh, if you're in the middle of transmitting it will not change frequencies but you'll get a pop-up to let you know why it didn't change frequencies so now you got four minutes remaining on the recording if you want to see where the recording is click on the open folder and then you, it, that'll open up a window and shows you all the recordings you got and then you can sort them by uh, when they're created right now it's zero because it's actually creating the file um, but it'll record with the frequency and the date and the time in that recording and if you want to stop it prematurely just hit turn it off so that neither one of these is checked and then that'll end the recording you can turn it back on again for the next time if you want but if you want to turn off that so it never records again just unclick it if you want to do it by month you click that one and then what it'll do is it'll look at what Monday was this in this month it was the second week so it basically will look for Mondays in the second week if it happens to be the last week it'll actually calculate the last week of the month and then it will do the recording or it'll it'll do the event on the last week of the month so it takes care of all the scheduling uh, but again you to deactivate it just unclick it so that way uh, if you don't see anything in the weekly and monthly these even though they've got data in there they're not going to do recordings only if you've got one of these two boxes checked will it change frequencies and then if that's checked it'll do the recording so that takes care of the uh, memory interface and then I think one other thing I added that I didn't go over was the latitude longitude in any of the prior videos if you're doing spotting and you've got this uh, enabled and you normally when you click on one you can see the the call up there if you want to see the spotter, which is over here, you normally click somewhere and pan it at, in the power stair to focus it and hit the shift key. And you'd see the, uh, it's being covered up by the shortwave right now, but I can turn off the shortwave. You'd see the spotter, but now you also see latitude, longitude, so you can actually calculate uh, latitude, longitude of any of the points on the map in 15 degree increments, north, south, east, west and uh, negative positive and then just hit shift again to go back to your spotted and remove that from the screen 
and then, uh, and I've also made these fields here a little bit bigger if you notice that's a little larger this is a little bit larger not much but just a tiny bit but this is a little bit bigger and uh, that's it